Oh, you showed me. Anyway, this is the trailer for the Mechanicus game. Understood the weakness of my and no, there is no snake in it. It disgusted me. But yeah, it's I actually an interesting style game from what I saw. It's kind of like XCOM, only you're fighting the Necrons. The blessed machine. Not the blessed machine. Your kind claim to your flesh. As if it will not decay and fade you. I mean, that's... One so day, the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither. The problem with that idea... Take my kind to save you. The problem with that idea, Mr. Mechanicus Man, is that metal also rusts. And eventually goes away. But I not unless you have, uh, not unless you're using necrodermis, which I think is what the uh, necrons use. That necrons yeah, use. they they use necrodermis, which in this game, from what I know, metal can be replaced by more metal, I guess, but still takes time. But uh, yeah, uh, I forget what I was going on about. But uh, this game is mostly about fighting the Necrons. So it's metal against metal. For the most part. I do... I do like the mechanics and... Or the mechanicus in terms of design because I think they look really cool. Just as long as I don't see where the parts where the metal and flesh connect. Because the robes usually obscure that, so I don't have to, you know, see that. For better or for worse, I'm glad I don't have to see that. But yeah! I think it's interesting, though. Um, the Necron are essentially the, uh, like, the end-all goal for the Mechanicus, because a lot of them who believe that the flesh is weak, the Necrons are pretty much just that. They're they're um, metallic soulless creatures. And it's just like, yep, they're perfect. They're your future if you continue down this really creepy path of yours. Which just reminds me that uh, Ferris Manus, when he saw that his marines were basically doing it like this, he basically went, huh, maybe I should tell them to stop this after this whole uh, Horus thing is over. And my, he's... My question is, though, like the video, I know that the... Um, it's the Iron Hands. I know yeah. that the Iron Hands are becoming more and more mechanical, but have they hit that specific level yet? Uh, well, they've replaced their arms and feet, so I'm not sure. Because, like, the way you describe... I think, from what I've seen, like, one. some of them strap themselves to tanks, so I don't know. I mean, the reason I bring it up is because the way it was described, that specific Marine was more machine than man at that point. So I'm yeah. Like, is that is that uh is that what they're becoming in 40k or is that even more into the future which is a scary thought when you think about it mm, i'm not sure but i do know that uh ferris Manus wanted to find a way to remove the necrodermis from his arms just to prove that uh that the flesh isn't weak because he just believed in being the strongest and imperfection but uh it's interesting, though I do find it funny that the Primarch named Iron Hands had Iron Hands and leads the, the Marines named the Iron Hands. The problem, the main problem I have with the Iron Hands is that they're basically the Mechanicus. Like, there are some stuff that differentiate them, but they usually basically get pigeonholed into basically just being... The tech marine mechanicus guys yeah the also problem is there's not really much lore on the iron hands up literally yeah. there's if you try looking up much about them just like the raven guard we don't have much going on with them they just exist but that's it, it sucks 